the story I've picked for us to read tonight is Where the Wild Things Are. So every story is written by someone. Let's see who this is written by. Oh, and the pictures. The story and pictures are by Morris Sendak. Okay, so this is a really good story about how friendly monsters can be. So let's hope we don't get scared. Are you ready? Okay, let's open our books up and get started. Okay, where the wild things are. Oh, very scary monsters. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. And another. His mother called him wild thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew and grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through the night and day. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws till Max said, be still, and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all and made him king of all the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Boom, 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 boom. Now stop, Max said and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away across the world, he smelt good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things were, are. <laughs> but the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up, we love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. The end. Okay, boys and girls, wasn't that just such a lovely story? Was Max being a good boy in the story? At the beginning of the story, was he being good? No, I don't think he was. He didn't get his supper, so he had to run away. Now, are we going to listen to our mummies and daddies? Yes. Are we going to listen for our teachers? Yes. And remember, boys and girls, there's no place like home, okay? You can run away, but you can always come home. Okay. So let's begin to close our eyes and let's go to sleep. Night-night.